Right, so one person is telling us it's that bus, then the person from that bus is telling us it's not that bus, now someone is telling us the bus isn't here yet. This is all very confusing. We are sweaty, but we made it. So just to kind of explain really quickly, what we're doing is we're getting the free shuttle from the place we stayed at the previous night back to Lanquin, and then we're getting the shuttle that we booked from Lanquin all the way to Flores. That's why we're having to rush back to this place to get this shuttle at 7 a.m. So we're in the back of the 4x4. Four four. Ah, don't oh, the camera. God, the camera. <laughs> As you can see, it's pretty bumpy in the back of this 4x4 four four on the way to Lanquin. Um, yeah, I was hoping I would have got used to it after last time, but I haven't. Good thing we've got an inbuilt camera stabiliser. Hey, uh, Central Salud, we go um, to uh, Bath Shuttle Bus with Flores. Flores, do you have uh, tickets? Harry? Yeah, Harry, we have tickets. Harry? Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm wrong. Uh, okay, that's it. Cortes Pais. Yes. Uh, yeah. Thank you. I think. Oh, the plan. We've made it back to Lanquin and since we were actually here before we didn't really get an idea of what it was like but it looks very much like a building site so I'm quite glad that we didn't decide to stay here instead. Now we just need to find our bus. Um, there are a few buses over there so we're going to head and see if one of them is ours. Hello, see, si, see. Si. Uh, Coban Travel? Coban Travel? Coban Travel? Okay. Well, that was actually a lot easier than expected, thankfully. Not easier than expected because the bus to Flores says that it's not our bus because it's the wrong company, but we found the right company, but none of them are going to Flores. The bus that told us wasn't our bus, apparently, is our bus, according to the other driver. Get a ticket? See? Ticket. What's it go? We bet with what's it go? Flores. Okay. Go and travel. No. Hay que esperar un momento. It's coming. It's different bus. It's coming. He told us this is the bus. No, no, no. It's different. Oh, no. <laughs> right, so one person is telling us it's that bus. Then the person from that bus is telling us it's not that bus. Now someone is telling us the bus isn't here yet. This is all very confusing. So we've just had a sudden realisation. One of the guys who we spoke to a moment ago took a picture of our tickets and started calling somebody. But we've just realised that Izzy's passport number was on the ticket that he took a picture of. So she's run off to try and find him, to try and get him to delete the photo, because we cannot have somebody else having Izzy's passport number. I'm waiting here with the bags to keep an eye on them while she goes to find him and hopefully she comes back soon and hopefully he's deleted the picture. Hi. Hi. He deleted it absolutely fine but uh, he has an iPhone so it'll just go into his deleted folder. But what company puts your passport number on your ticket for people to see? Do you know what I mean? That's yeah. just like, I didn't even realise that was on there and as soon as I read it I was like... I don't know my passport number off by heart. Um, as soon as I read it, I kind of went, oh, is that what I think it is? And it is, so. But you know what I mean? That's terrifying. Because obviously, like, we know for a fact that people, I'm not saying he would do this, but we know for a fact that people do that to um, commit identity fraud. Yeah. So, I don't know, maybe I should email our embassy and let them know that that's happened. In Linea. Okay, did you buy, you bought at the hostel online? Not at the hostel, online. Okay, but with who? Uh, what they go. What they go. Okay, uh -huh. do you have the actual... It's going what they go. Yeah. What's your name? Uh, Isabel, sorry. Isabel. Estoy llamando por tanto, me contesta. Okay, we just spoke to somebody else, and I think we're getting somewhere. <laughs> The vibe that I'm getting is that we booked through Watago and paid online, but the company who that we're actually going with, the bus company, is called Coban Travels. The vibe that I'm getting is that they tried to cancel. Um, mm. But then this guy who we're speaking to, who seems to kind of run 
the buses here says oh no but you paid for it so they have to come get you yeah maybe there's not enough people on the bus so they don't want to come but you mm. know we've already paid <laughs> exactly yeah, yeah. <laughs> either way we need this bus to turn up <laughs> yeah yes. gracias is it yeah Stop, wrong bus <laughs> that was another bus fifth time lucky the bus situation is quite unusual you have to climb over the seats to get into your seats and I think that's so that they could fit as much seats as possible. Oh, he's not, he's not um, I have enough leg room because I'm five foot three but I think if you're over six foot you would have a tough time being on this bus for eight or nine hours. <sighs> that was a lot of confusion for eight o'clock in the morning. I know. Ooh. So because our shuttle to Flores should take about eight hours, thankfully we've got a couple of stops on the way. We're at stop number one, and I think we're gonna grab something to eat. And a coffee. Coffee, yes? Oh, yes please. Hey, I've just woken up, but I'm pretty sure we've stopped somewhere for lunch. We've got 45 minutes and it's at what looks like a cafe or a restaurant in the middle of nowhere. So let's go see what they have. Okay. Gracias. 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 I do feel like I'm missing out sometimes. Yeah. I'll be completely honest, as far as eight hour bust rest stop food goes, it wasn't that bad. Yeah. Let's Sorry. go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> We're I the last ones getting on the bus because he wants coffee. <laughs> we are the last ones getting on the bus because I want coffee. Bye. One thing that we forgot to mention is that this journey includes a ferry crossing. It's very short, but we're currently queuing for the ferry. And I don't think we get to get off, I think we just stay on the car because we can see the other side of the river from here. So there'd be no point in getting off. It's the world's shortest ferry ride. <laughs> it is, yeah. So we're just a couple of minutes outside of Flores and the bus has pulled over and somebody from the bus company has got on and started telling people that they need to get off here to get cash out of the ATM and use the shop and then as soon as everybody's off the bus all the people start coming up and offering them tickets for tours and collectivos and private taxis. This is something that we were warned about and read about before we came here that this is exactly where the bus companies stop and start trying to sell you all these different tours and things like that which cost twice as much. He's told us that all of the cash machines on Flores Island are broken um, and he's also told us that there are no shops so that we have to get any food and water from the shop there. Um, I'm a bit suspicious and you are as well right? Yeah. I'd... Like I said, because it's one of those things that we'd read about and been warned about, it's kind of hard to not go, mm, uh -huh. you know what I mean? Yeah, the person who warned us um, had basically written an article about it, she's a blogger, and she said that when she got to Flores, uh, there were cash machines that were working, and there were shops, uh, small ones, but shops, and also that um, the tours were literally half the price. So at this point, I can probably advise you to at least not buy a tour to take out from here if your boss company do this. Uh, wait to get on the island and shop around because everybody says that they make that mistake and everybody says they wish they'd waited. It's just that logic would dictate that we're only five minutes away from Flores we're and we're now stopping here for a break <laughs> to do all this stuff and it just, it just doesn't make any sense. Where the bus stops to let us off is according to Google Maps a two minute drive mm. and that's with a lot of traffic so we are literally the bridge is there that we cross and the bridge yeah. is where we stop so yeah but either way after being on this bus for eight hours I'll be completely honest I just cannot wait to get off and get to where we're staying we're both very tired at this point <laughs> I did something uh, that I maybe shouldn't have done <laughs> so we stopped uh, for lunch I wasn't feeling hungry but I did want a coffee Surprise, surprise, so I bought a coffee. Um, I asked her if she had agua caliente, hoping that, assuming it would be boiled water. When I started drinking the coffee, it wasn't completely hot. Um, and then about an hour after I drank it, my tummy started. I feel really, really sick, so I think that the water I drank was, in the coffee, was not clean water. 
I've just been on this bus like trying not to throw up. Yeah, it is one of those things in Central America that you do have to be careful of. If you do get sort of a hot drink that's like tea or coffee or something made with tap water here, make sure that the water is boiling before you actually drink it because otherwise they could because otherwise the stuff that's in the water can still be contaminating you and making you ill and stuff like that. It's just something to be careful of, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like we said, we're nearly there. <sighs> to the border, and then from the border to the city, to the city. So just under 10 hours later, we have finally made it to Flores. I'm pretty sure nothing can go wrong today from this point onwards. All we need to do is find where we're staying. <laughs> That's also not a path. Okay, maybe one or two things can go wrong from this point onwards. <laughs> the cobbled streets didn't agree with my wheelie bag, so I've converted it. Dale, however, is persevering. I just couldn't be bothered to convert it, I'll be honest. See. As soon as we got into our hotel room, Izzy has promptly started being sick, so we're going to end this video here. Hopefully she gets better soon, because the next time you see us, we are going to be exploring the Tikal ruins. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Hey, buddy. Be my friend. Be my friend. <laughs> Oh, now is not the time, bag. Come on. That is apparently our bus. Oh, now the bus is trying to bring me over. 